Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryan, and welcome to the Fucking Panthers podcast, where we don't give a fuck. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Everywhere you look, there's a heart. crazy last two games. Um, I really want to talk about the Oilers game mostly, so I'm going to talk just quickly about the Bruins game. So we came out hard, played one of the best games all year. We beat one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference, 3-0, to zero, and we looked great. Um, shout out to Sateri, shout out to James Reimer. Um, when they have needed to come up big in big games, they have. Um, that's what you need, clutch goaltending. Um, but the big thing I want to talk about, which is all tied in, is Michael Haley. So everyone was saying how Michael Haley, he, we need him in the lineup to fight, blah, 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 protect the players. But guess what? He wasn't in against the Bruins, and Mammon was in, and... We looked amazing. Um, yeah, we got in scuffles, but it's hockey. People, people want to act like the Panthers can't protect themselves when we don't have Haley in the lineup. Like they're all like, we have a bunch of fairies running around, which is not true. Uh, they play hockey. They're, most of them are very tough and will want to get in your face. Um, Matheson did exactly what uh, Michael Haley would have done, but the difference is... Matheson actually has skill and can play more than seven minutes a game. That was an amazing win for the Panthers, which is the highest of highs we've almost had this year. And then the lowest of lows happened against the Oilers. So we just looked flat the whole game. There were many turnovers. Uyghur, Uyghur had a few big turnovers. Um, we looked tired. I mean, I know it has something to do with our scheduling because... Like I said in a previous video, the middle of March, we're going to falter a little bit, and, and we did last night. Um, we, we looked flat, but we've been playing, you know, every other day, and then we play tomorrow, which is Monday, and then we play Tuesday, I believe. So, I don't know what's going to happen with that. And then, so yesterday, we had, Mammon was out, and Michael Haley was in. So, people say that Michael Haley is going to protect us. And how, oh, the other teams won't want to do any dirty things because he's in the lineup and he'll fight you. So, the game started off and, you know, Haley got into a fight, I believe, in the first period. So, he, he took a stupid penalty. So, he takes a dumb penalty and we're down a man because he knows he has to fight to stay in the lineup. Because... For whatever reason, that is what coach wants, um, protection of the players. But I saw something in that game, I don't know if you guys saw it, because I saw Trocek get shoved from behind into the net, and what did Michael Haley do? Nothing. He didn't retaliate or anything. And then I saw Vetrano get cross-checked in the back, and he looked like a slinky, and what did he do? Absolutely nothing. You know why? Because he plays seven minutes a game. And guess what McDavid did in the third period when Barkov was tired because Barkov is at the top of the lead in average time on ice in the whole NHL because we have a player who plays seven minutes a game while we're in a playoffs hunt. We were very close. This was, we needed this win badly. And I know, I know everyone, if you're a Panthers fan, you should be pissed off that we lost that game. We looked flat. And, and Barkov, when he plays 25 minutes, that man plays 25 minutes. He's a 200-foot center. He's back and forth. And, and we have Haley, who, who's supposed to be protecting them, and he's not even doing anything when we could have had Mammon in and maybe trying to create a spark. You know? It's just... It, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me why 
why he, he's in the games right now when we need to have our best team on the ice, our best hockey players. We don't need a fighter right now. It's just no one, he didn't even stand up for Trocek and he didn't stand up for Vetrano. It's just like they got, those were two dirty plays. One was a penalty, one wasn't. I just, I don't know why, why he's in the game and it, and it just infuriates me because this team could be so much better if, if we just get him out of the lineup. He, he doesn't have any value to this team. Other teams are not scared of him. They're all grown men out there on the ice. It just, it just blows my mind how, how he has to be in the game. So now we are going on a road trip and we play, we play two games back to back when we're already tired. This whole team looked gassed. I, I hope they got rest, but they're traveling, so I don't know. We need to take at least three out of four points just to stay in the playoff hunt. We, we really need to win both games, but if we, if we take three points out of the four, we can at least probably stay in the playoff hunt, depending on what the other teams do. But it's not looking good right now. Yesterday, we really, really needed to win, and we just we fell flat. So, from the Pucking Panthers podcast, and I guess I don't have any co-hosts anymore, I'm Ryan, and I will see you Wednesday or Thursday to recap the next two games. See you later.